Hi and welcome back to Engine Shop Joe. Today we're going to take a look at something that happens in the SCR system that we don't see all that often, but it's one of the tougher things to diagnose properly. So let's just get into it and take a look and see what was going on. When this came in, these were the only two active faults. We had an active torque to rate and then a 3543, which is uh, NOx limits were exceeded due insufficient reagent quality, or you could say diluted depth. Remember, we talked about depth having to be at 32.5 in a refractometer. And so if you were at 30 or 28 or 21, that would be insufficient reagent quality. In other words, severely diluted to the place where it's not uh, clearing up the NOx the way that it should. So we opened up QuickServe and put these in the fault analyzer and it told us to troubleshoot 3543 first and 3714 second. And so 3543, let's look down below. Troubleshoot all other active knock sensor and SCR dosing related faults before this. There are no others. Possible causes include malfunctioning diesel exhaust fluid dosing system, exhaust leaks, malfunctioning SCR catalyst, de degraded or diluted or incorrect diesel exhaust fluid, diesel exhaust fluid deposits in a decomp tube. So that's quite a bit of checking. So uh, this is what we did. We decided to run the SCR system test. And as you can see, the SCR system test passed all four sections of the test. So at that point, we weren't helped much by the test. We did data log all parameters while we were running this test. So we had other information to take a look at. This is a section of the data log that we captured while we were doing the SCR system test. And if you notice, the red circle uh, is around the outlet NOx sensors path that's graphed. It came up above the inlet NOx sensor substantially. So in other words, it was reporting to the ECM that the NOx had suddenly really increased but then it went back down to a normal level. So that is why the system um, f was flagging the, uh, the reagent quality because it was assuming that since it was okay and it went back to okay, the system had to be working correctly mechanically. It must have been the reagent. Now, uh, this chart that you're looking at here is part of the graph. And when you are logging, you can log outlet NOx and then another value called outlet NOx corrected. And I'm not exactly positive what the outlet NOx corrected, how that's calculated from outlet NOx, but normally they're the exact same number. There, it's mirrored. It's the same value all the way down. Whether it's 100, 500, it's the same number. And this knock sensor, the outlet knock sensor up on top, that was the um, old knock sensor, the original knock sensor. As we're logging, I noticed that we have a, had a 30 parts per million difference across the board between our outlet knocks and then our outlet NOx corrected. We replaced the outlet NOx sensor and our difference was one part per million. And that's acceptable. It'll jump up and down. And there, there were instances in here on the bottom where it was exactly the same. That's how it should have behaved. So we suspected that our problem was the outlet NOx sensor module not the actual sensing element, but they're all one piece. We replaced the outlet knock sensor. We ran another SCR system test after we cleared all the faults and none of the faults returned. So we knew we had a good fix. Whenever we run into something new, we like to be sure, as sure as we can, 
in the field that um, we're thinking correctly and we're doing a good fix. So once we replace that knock sensor, the outlet knock sensor, we ran another SCR system test and we logged everything again. And the next time on the log, the outlet knock sensor behaved as normal and it did not rise up above the inlet. And of course, we didn't log any new faults. So we were satisfied that we had a good fix. Thanks for joining me on Engine Shop Joe.